Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me and another episode of Storytime. So today's story is about a young lady who really, really knew exactly the type of man that she wanted. But she went against everything that she wanted to have this man. So the story begins actually several years back. <laughs> she was in a relationship she broke up with said guy this new fella came into the picture he winded down her, swept her off her feet and he showed her a lot of first times and what that is is she had never seen snow so he, take, he had taken her to see snow she had never rode a horse so he took her horseback riding she had never been to Vegas, so he took her to Vegas. Vegas. So those are the first that I'm talking about. So he created this entire wonderful fantasy land for her, and she fell, and she fell hard. Now, everything in her told her to move on and um, walk away from this guy. But again, she went against her better, better judgment. And so what happens is... Um, the religions are completely different. She's one religion. He's another religion. And her religion is actually really, 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 do you get the picture? Really super important to herself. And he is this pretty, like, mediocre. It's it's okay. Like, we could do this religion thing or we don't have to. That's kind of where he is. So they were not on equal playing fields in that sense right there. The next thing is that as time was going on, she was noticing many, many, many things about him that she did not like. However, she just kept plunging forward, which is he drinks a lot. Well, he drinks a lot. Yeah, he does. It's really heavy. And uh, she's a non-drinker. He actually hangs out all the time, like parties. And of course, like I just mentioned, drinking, he's a partier. She is not. She likes to work out. He does not. <laughs> As I already mentioned, the, uh, the religion is super huge for her. Not so much for him. She wants children. He was kind of like, ah, mm, you know, we can, we can't. On top of that, her family was not a fan of him. Everything in her being was telling her to walk the other way. And she kept fighting for this particular relationship. Now years, she's putting years into this relationship. They actually got married three years ago and now they are on the brink of divorce. To me, me and my two cents, already I'm gonna give it to you now. Me and my two cents about this situation is you don't go against everything in your being to be with a particular person. Number two, to me, on the outside looking in, I seen their predicament that they're in now, years ago. I seen the divorce that is on the brink right now. I seen that years ago. Because they're two different people on extremes of the spectrum. I already listed a few things that don't match up between them. And so she was fighting, 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 fighting for this relationship to work out only for it to do exactly what her biggest fear was, which is for them to break up. Well, now it's divorce. It's not just breaking up. They, they're on the brink of, of a divorce. And uh, actually, I feel, feel kind of sad for her, but the relationship side of me doesn't because... You cannot go against everything in your being and expect different results. Another thing, when your family is right about things, I know that this is kind of a hard pill to swallow, but when your family is right about your mate, they usually have a point. I'm not saying that you have to drop everything, but if everything around you, every person around you is giving you said advice, and again, at the end of the day, it is your choice. But if everybody around you is saying kind of like, watch out, ooh, ooh, that don't sound good, you know, kind of, ooh, ooh, wow, that, that happened too? Dang. 
Oh man, that happened too? Dang. You probably need to open up your eyes a little bit. Clean out your ears a little bit. And hear what they're saying to you. Take heed. Because we all make choices. And the choices that we make, we have a tendency to kind of look around and like, I don't know what happened. And it's because all of those red flags that was punching you in the face, do, 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 you was ignoring every single one of them. And that's what I feel in this situation. I'm not surprised that they are on the brink of divorce because she ignored every single solitary red flag that was in her face. And and honestly, I don't even fault him. I don't. I don't fault him because he is being exactly who he was or who he is. And she, because he, um, she seen him a different way is what I was trying to say. And it's because she was seeing the relationship from the very beginning, which is what women have a tendency to do. This is why a lot of women have a tendency to stay longer than they need to stay because that guy that he presented himself his representative, no less, is the guy that she's hoping he's going to turn back into. Unfortunately, that's a falsehood. And you're playing yourself. Because that was his representative. That was the guy that showed up just to reel you in. And once he got her, typical fashion, all of them first-timers, slowly but surely, faded away there hasn't been a first time with them in years so what do you guys think do you think that she was wrong for continuing to fight for this relationship do you think that he was wrong you know for presenting himself as something in the beginning and then being this completely different person like the relationship is a big old mess add your comments in the comment section below I'm sure Others who are going through the situation could benefit from what you have to say as well. As always, if this is your very first time to my channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button for more videos such as this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.